So now we are going to see in the city as the result of that movement that has been growing through education and orientation at school, even when the children are in elementary schools, they are taught on how to stimulate this among the Cuban population and how to eat healthier every time. So we are going to one of the farmers markets. These are people that have uh, their little sales site there farmers that bring part of the goods that they produce. Think of the prices here if the average Cuban salary is $20, uh, $20 a month. Think of that in terms of the prices that you see here because people do complain that it is too expensive. Now you have a picture from Tigo. Una manga, manga, una manga. No. No, es pequeños. Okay. Uh, but what people didn't have was all the things they needed to take to make the food taste good. Um, they didn't want salad. People were not into eating uh, raw vegetables. Um, they they wanted tomatoes. Uh, for cooking, they wanted garlic, they wanted onions, they wanted the spices, and they couldn't get that anywhere. So there were a lot of complaints, and people would buy that all on the black market. So finally, uh, Fidel Castro said, okay, we're going to open up these private, these private markets and let farmers sell privately. So they opened up these markets, but the prices were really high because the farmers had a commodity that people really wanted and they could charge whatever they wanted for them. And so people started complaining. Looks beautiful. I am very confused by what they're telling us. Um, Salsine is actually um, originally from the countryside and he came from a farming family, but he went to the university. And after going to the university, he graduated as agronomist and he went to work in the, at the Ministry of Agriculture. And he became a bureaucrat. Yeah. I've been working here for 18 years. <laughs> and they call me Robinson Crusoe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was missing Paris. <laughs> And perhaps we are ahead of our time uh, doing organic farming at that time. Y podría pensarse que los cubanos tenemos una gran visión de futuro. And you might think that we have, that we Cubans have a, a long vision about the, our future. Pero nada más lejos de la realidad. But we are very far away from reality. Nosotros producíamos orgánico, o las cosas se nos iban a poner muy malas. We were producing organic, or other things, uh, otherwise we're not going to have food on our table. In the 1990s, everything fell apart. And, and at that time, 80% of the rural population had already migrated to urban areas in Cuba. And the country went in a deep recession. I, you probably know one of the problems of socialism that we have certain uh, rigid schemes that we created that sometimes kill initiative. Policies that uh, they are uh, egalitarian policies that sometimes affect uh, personal development. I'm not saying this, uh, all the people saying this, but uh, we don't talk much about that here. So we began to implement certain economic measures in our cooperative. We create a system of uh, shares uh, in order to distribute the profits 
que de alguna manera en otras cooperativas eran un poco igualitaristas. That the other cooperatives tend to be more egalitarian, more like kind of uh, giving the same amount of money to everyone. In spite of all of the difficulties, the uh, the um, health health uh, indicators improved because of the diet and exercise. There were more people biking. There were more people eating fresh fruits and vegetables. And did that is that actually true that the actual life expectancy and the health improved? And also, they say that 70 percent of all of the vegetables consumed in La Habana is produced in the area. Is that also true? Yes. Que, yes. Que, el, que el único que no es suficiente para La Habana. Which is not enough for the consumption of Havana citizens. Hay poblaciones del interior que tienen se satisfacen de la de ese mercado alrededor, pero aquí en La Habana no. So last year we had the lowest temperature as 20 centigrade. I was pretty bad problema. for our crops. Otro problema. Nosotros no, pero los precios subieron o bajaron. Subieron. Con el, la, bajaron, perdón. Bajaron, bajaron, bajaron por prices alta Prices lowered alta because of the high productions that we had when we had lower temperatures. Había más partes, sino también las medidas que se tomaron nuevas también impulsaron a que en lugares como este fueran aún más baratas que en La Habana. Porque hay gente que la trasladaba a La Habana y las cogía a menos precio, porque yo la tenía que vender porque no tenía suficiente. Mm. ¿Por qué no tenía suficiente? Eh, pues porque el consumidor. Mm -hmm. So I had to sell also people, bought the products here, the food here, and took it to other parts of the city, like Ledado, Miramar, and they sold it, you know, for very good prices. But then I had to sell, to sell all that uh, good food here uh, because I had not enough consumers. You had to lower the prices lower here. Lower the prices here. Mm. <laughs> so guys, I want to invite you uh, to walk around because we have a lot of things to see and remember we came to talk to the workers, okay? Okay, so let's come, uh, let's walk and... Oh, yes, yes. Eso sí es bueno. Es maravilloso. ¿Usted se llama? Turu. 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 Mi Bill. Roja, California. Re California. Ella. Mm. Uh -huh. Y luego este es en los uh, campos. En los campos. Yeah. Esto es cuando la, 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 lo que hace tu amigo, que tiene una finca igual que con lo que... Ya. Yeah. Ella, rápido, <laughs> ella, oh. ella se lo come rápido y lo convierte en, en nutriente para la planta. Sí, sí. Y... Las... Oh, yeah. Hay un... Oy, oy, oy. Son larvas, larvas. Larvas, hay, hay. Muchas. Sí, muchas. Uh -huh. para, para comer. Ah. Eh. Insectos malos. Uh -huh. Es el control. Este con... Con... control. 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 Natural. Ah. Control natural. Y okay. este control biológico. Sí, sí, sí. Ya. Son dos controles. Ok. Muchísimas gracias. Gracias a usted. <laughs> bueno. Uh, they have about 160 rabbits at this moment. There are about 10 um, female rabbits that have babies. Oh, my dear crab conejos. Hello, little ones. Huh? Mm. Oh, were they brought here? I was just giving uh, you a They are Cuban natives. Cuban natives. Cuban natives. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. 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 No, no. Oh. No. 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 coming for our party on Saturday with his wife. So uh, make sure also you, if you have more questions, don't ask him too many questions at the party. Just make sure that he, he got a good drink, okay? Ah. And we're gonna go back to the bus, okay? okay.